Neanderthals have long been unfairly labeled as dim-witted cavemen, but new insights into their culture and capabilities reveal they were far more advanced than traditionally thought. Facts First presents Why Historians Believe Neanderthals Were Even Smarter Than Humans Incredible Sense of Smell Neanderthals had a remarkably strong sense of smell, even stronger than modern humans and many predatory animals. Their large noses and elongated facial structures allowed them to pick up scents from great distances which aided critical hunting and foraging abilities during a challenging Ice Age environment in Eurasia. Scientists speculate that a boosted olfactory capacity gave Neanderthals a more intimate sense of their natural surroundings. Researchers now also believe Neanderthals even used scent receptivity and discrimination as a means to gather detailed environmental information and communicate crucial signals with one another. This essentially established a basic language and message system involving smell cues alone something rare among hominids. Careful analysis reveals Neanderthal noses had as much as 6 million olfactory receptors compared to 5 million in humans currently. With an ability estimated to detect odor at concentrations a hundred times lower than humans, their world was rich with an array and intensity of scents modern people can't conceive. Built Sturdy Shelters there is compelling evidence from multiple archaeological sites that Neanderthals actively built sturdy shelters and huts mainly using materials like mammoth bones and tusks as structural supports. These ingenious dwellings would have provided substantial protection from the pervasive, frigid climate conditions throughout Europe during intense glaciation. Constructing durable and insulated housing represents a relatively advanced cognitive capacity. Interestingly, certain discoveries indicate some Neanderthal homes had partitioned areas, fire pits, and spaces presumably intended for specific tasks like tool production. This shows a concept of modular, purpose-driven architectural planning from at least 70,000 years ago, gaining further insight into how their minds worked to aid daily survival tasks. And researchers posit that Neanderthal building methods, which relied on arches, curves, and domes, hint at a sophisticated grasp of structural engineering capabilities, beyond what we previously assumed. Weird Teeth Growth Neanderthal teeth frequently grew at peculiar angles and often in diverse, unusual alignments, which may have been an effective evolutionary adaptation related to their exceptionally demanding and abrasive diet. The odd wear patterns exhibited on recovered fossil teeth also essentially acted as small-scale records or indicators of what types of fibrous foods they commonly consumed. And microscopic analysis reveals inconsistencies in Neanderthal tooth enamel compositions as well as evidence of self-medication through specialized plant compounds to ease intense pain from extreme dental attrition. This underscores how complex and multifaceted their relationship was to using their teeth as essential tools. They knew medicinal plants. Careful research on a range of Neanderthal remains over the last decade provides support for the idea that they had a substantive understanding of natural, native medicinal plants and their inherent biochemical properties to treat diseases, infections, and injuries. Archaeological discoveries imply Neanderthals transmitted medical knowledge to peers through oral traditions passed from one generation to the next. And remnants of specific ferns, mosses, and fungi with recognized curative effects often found at burial sites hints that Neanderthals may have appreciated spiritual or symbolic connections between health remedies and guiding souls into the afterlife. This pushes back evidence of advanced cognitive capacities and abstract belief systems to well before modern humans. And analysis of plaque on Neanderthal teeth identified genetic traces from poplar trees which have salicylic acid, the active pain-relieving ingredient in aspirin, suggesting knowledge of relatively sophisticated pharmacology requiring patient trial and error over long stretches of time. Crafted Advanced Tools Neanderthals were remarkably skilled and quite innovative toolmakers, generating an impressive, diverse array of technologically advanced equipment, including expertly napped stone knives, serrated spears augmented with fire-hardened wooden tips, thick hide scrapers, hand axes for butchery, and so on. 
The techniques and procedures to carefully manufacture these implements typically required high intelligence, focus, manual precision, and patience over extended time frames. Intriguingly, Neanderthals accomplished incremental improvements in lithic technology spanning hundreds of thousands of years until they ultimately produced specialized blades that paleoanthropologists consider almost as effective and versatile as later modern human designs. This exemplifies the amazing evolutionary pressure Neanderthals faced to integrate abstract reasoning with cumulatively learned skills passed down through cultures. Survive Harsh Ice Ages Throughout profoundly challenging swings between intense cold glacial maxima and relatively mild interglacial intervals, and during multiple ice ages, Neanderthals demonstrated an impressive capacity to adapt and adjust. They thrived in remarkably harsh and demanding environmental circumstances. They engineered effective adaptive strategies, including manufacturing thermal clothing from animal fur, controlling fire, engineering solutions to snow and ice with sturdy shelter construction, as well as preserving critical knowledge about time-sensitive hunting migration routes so they could anticipate movements of reindeer, horse, bison, and mammoth herds on which they depended for sustenance. Isotopic analysis of bone collagen reveals a diet that shifted in reaction to climate fluctuation, suggesting an ability to learn and diversify food procurement techniques. In essence, they displayed a stubborn resilience against nature's volatility. Inventive Approach to Fire there is substantial archaeological confirmation from Neanderthal cave sites that they approached manipulating and managing fire in fresh and creative ways, not just for warmth, light, and cooking, but also for purposefully engineering stone flakes into sharper, more lethal tools. Regulating and exploiting fire for their benefit likely stimulated and strengthened problem-solving, spatial reasoning, communication, and cooperative abilities. Furthermore, evidence of vastly more complex uses for fire emerges quite late in the Neanderthal timeline, including apparatus to harness flames for light, constructing seals to carefully direct smoke escaping caves to avoid predators noticing within, and strategic burns to herd certain prey herds towards prime ambush points. This experimental ingenuity counters our notions of Neanderthals as simply replicating traditions mechanically. And concentrated reddish clay floors discovered in caves suggest they concocted the first man-made cement, recognizing how certain minerals intensified fire to enable tasks like tool hardening. This early earth technology illustrates abstract thinking about enhancing their environment. They cared for the injured and elderly. Numerous discovered Neanderthal bones and fossils show clear signs of fully healed major traumatic injuries, suggesting the injured individuals were cared for during long recovery periods. In addition, evidence found at certain cave sites indicates the elderly were provisioned by the group when they lacked the physical capacity to adequately fend for themselves late in life. They were capable of speech. Larger Neanderthal thoraxes, stronger spinal cords, and slight differences in larynx positions compared to us indicate they likely had the necessary anatomical equipment to actively develop and employ intricately structured verbal communication, if their culture intensified enough to benefit from language acquisition. Enhanced computer modeling of their oral, nasal, and throat cavities reveals they could likely pronounce the full range of sounds utilized in most modern languages. Now it's time to hear from you. What was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below.